quick video. Autism as a gift. Now, many people on the spectrum believe, or actually off the spectrum believe, autism. Oh, yuck! Oh, don't have anything to do with it. Well, to those of us who have autism, it's a normal everyday occurrence. So why can't you have anything to do with it? If you are neurotypical, you probably already have autistic traits in yourself that you don't even realize. And yet you're condemning the people who have it. Get off the grass, go over and smell the roses. Look at it as though it is a gift. Because when you're over and everything, over everything, all the, all the crap that people give you, you actually start realizing that you yourself are an extraordinary human being. You have these gifts. Now look, what are they? I don't know. They are unique to yourself. I know people who are empathetic, empathy, I, I have trouble with that one, empathize. And they can walk past and they know what's going to happen. They know your history. But they are kind enough not to tell you. And you condemn them to people who go, oh, don't want that. But hey, you get over that and you find out suddenly that, oh wow, I've got autism. Oh, everything I've done, all the, all the comments I've made in the past about these people, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> well, what am I going to do? I've got it. Right? Hey, I didn't have that choice. I was brought up with it. It was normal in my family. There's seven generations. I'm the one, two, three, four. I'm the fifth generation that we know of. Now you talk about individuality and uniqueness. Hey, my family's been like that for years and centuries. Point is, did I go around and say, oh, maybe, I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. You get over that. Oh my heavens above. Oh, stage. And what have you got left? You strip down to the bare bones of who you are. What are you and who you are and where the heck am I going? Because all your normality has gone. You're now in the enemy camp. Right? <laughs> right? You know, you've moved over. You've, you've, you've changed sides, mate, because you've got a diagnosis. Oh, okay, now I'll talk from this side. Hi, I'm Susan. I'm an extraordinary human being. I have autism. So what? It doesn't have me. I have gifts. You have gifts. My gifts are different from your gifts. They have to be because we're all unique. We are all as one individual in one community. And I am running a autism as a gift campaign yeah and in that campaign every four days you receive a video not a video you receive an email you check your email your phone whatever and you've got something there it's not about sell 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 it's about let's go celebrate life and look I mean heck there's opportunities out there that Galileo didn't have he drew planes, he drew helicopters way, way back then. You had people who in the 14th century were getting persecuted. The first saint of science, the first martyr of science. And yet the church already knew that there was planets and everything else. But hey, why don't we just leave it to the population to believe what we've told them. The earth is flat, you can't go past your valley. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a manipulating audience there. But I tell you what, betcha some of them had autism too. Now, you can only look back on history and go, I wonder, did so and so and so and so? And you find out that, you know, huge people, ventriloquists, airplane owners, computer company, company people, politicians for want of a better word, <laughs> you know, speedsters, Dragsters, people on bikes, artists, theatre people, great cooks. These are all gifts. 
maybe they have used the gift of focus to develop that gift. That gift is an autistic gift. That's great. Now I'm telling you, why don't you come and have a look, join up, just see, and if it's not for you, let me know, and we can come to an arrangement of how I can change things. You might just let me know. That is as it is. Welcome to Autism as a Gift and its flow ones. I will see you on the other side, maybe. <laughs> All right, maybe I've scared you off. Sorry, there's plenty of autistic people out there that need the information and want to share it. And that's what I ask you to do. Share the information. Share it so that we can all be part of a neurodiversification world where we are all accepted. With that, I will catch you later. Bye.